hi so i'm going to perform the simulation of the two tasks so first of all i need to create a new project so let's keep it lab one next default and always don't click this do not create a schematic so if you click this then no schematic will be created and obviously we are working with schematic to perform the simulation you need to click do not uh, in the following two session one is here since we are not working with PCB and another is no firmware I already mentioned in our initial video anyway so always check that the schematic is only checked and we are only working with schematic to perform the simulation now the finish so now our uh, schematic environment schematic capture is ready so from the figure uh, if you notice we need this sort of thing so let's pick this so if I click on this P or P in the keyboard I need Arduino so emulator then Arduino and I was I'm working with Arduino Uno R3 and you are welcome to work with other devices like Mega 1280 or Mega 2560. So now okay oh sorry I think okay was not required anyway so another thing I need a resistance so let's keep it a resist now I may use any one because I can change the value. So let's take it. And next, I need red LED. Red LED. So this one just double clicked. I need. Oh, I need an potentiometer. So for potentiometer, uh, do search potentiometer or port. Don't port active because you need to change it actively so this one actually I need so always search port active and then port AZ device name so we need we are working with this one so I think I have taken all components so okay actually port needs on the second project anyway so now I am developing our first one so I need Arduino Uno so just single click there and here so uno next i need a led just uh, the basic circuit in just like our previous experiment this one here let's zoom it a little bit okay i want to rotate it clockwise also this one rotate it clockwise just for a good representation so that it looks good and next the connection is uh, I am keeping it with 13 you can choose any other pin just next single click sorry single click then again single click and I need the ground so ground is from here this terminal mode then ground so ground here and ground so I also want to connect this with this so our basic circuit is ready uh, another some points I think I need to mention so this little symbol mouse symbol is the selection mode so when uh, you are in this mode you can select the component you can uh, move it in other directions uh, and so on so this is the uh, you know the selection mode and this is the component mode so when we are in component mode we can choose different components from here so if uh, for example uh, let's say you are here in this terminal mode and you can find where is the component so just click here this component mode and the component is available here so initially we are working with this uh, this one 
uh, that is the selection mode then component mode and terminal mode these are the things we are needing right now there are other some modes also for example uh, this one i think generator yes so this is the generator mode and from here you can generate different sorts of voltage source so this could be dc or sine wave or pulse or exponential or anything so through this generator we generally uh, choose different sort of source voltage source and this one was is also important this is the instrument so you can use oscilloscope uh, logic analyzer and also the dc ammeter ac voltmeter so just like a physical lab in brack university you can uh, you know in physical lab you generally uh, take those voltmeter or ammeter and measure the voltage or current etc and in this virtual environment you may choose different this sort of voltmeter or ammeter and you can simulate these things to uh, if you want to know what is the voltage or what is the current at these ends and uh, other things are not so important right now uh, for example this graph mode we are not dealing anything right now if we need them i will describe one by one and if you want to learn uh, about these things i can say internet is a good resource and there are quite a uh, should be i didn't say it yet but i think there are a lot of uh, tutorials or other things available in youtube or other blog channels so you can learn those things and i will describe what uh, we are dealing with in our laboratory so don't worry so uh, this circuit is ready and all we need to upload the program in it so uh, we know that in order to upload program we need to go to arduino environment so here and this is the default arduino environment and if i want to introduce with you so this first one tick symbol it is the verify or compile so using this uh, we generally compile our code compile our is case and the next one is the upload so this upload uh, function uh, that we are not dealing with right now since we are simulating it so when we do this sort of projects or other things in physical environment then we generally connect our arduino board through usb uh, in our pc and then we uh, take this one we click on this one upload so that the program is uploaded to the arduino board and in arduino board there is a memory so obviously you don't need to connect it all the time with the pc uh, you just disconnect it and the uh, arduino board will be operational as per the program and this one the new so this is just like a new use case so you are creating a new use case and this one open so if you want to open previous use case and the last one was the save so if you want to save your current use case so obviously you need to click on this and this other setting are also yes this example one so there are many examples related to many areas for example yeah, previously i show you the basics uh, through these basics i show you the blink code so for example you just um, bought an display let's say and uh, you don't not display let's say so uh, you don't know what is the basic program or or would be uh, the architecture of the program that is this one liquid crystal so lcd display what we call lcd that is mean liquid crystal display so here the default code or an example care code is already given so you just can uh, try this one and uh, if you find uh, something helpful then you can write uh, more uh, lines within the code so that's why these examples are so helpful there are different for example this servo motor stepper or uh, many examples are here so this uh, thing is important and other things are just like any normal software like through this edit you can cut copy paste or indentation commenting uncommenting in the c program uh, anyway and this one is just like the and these functionalities like verify upload and other things and another important thing is here this board so 
when for example you are performing your project with arduino uno board so when you write your program and you are going to upload then obviously you need to select this arduino uno and if you want to if you want to work with arduino nano that means if your board is arduino nano then obviously you need to select this one arduino nano and then uh, you will write the necessary codes and compile and then upload so obviously this uh, should be similar with your board since we are working with arduino uno so arduino uno which is the default one is selected and second one is the com port so this is the communication port so when you connect your arduino through usb it is actually connected to a communication port uh, you can find the uh, communication port from um, device manager uh, so when you use the uh, Arduino board in real life, then generally you select different COM ports. There could be many COM ports like COM1, COM8, COM9. And you need to first uh, see who is COM port is using that Arduino. Uh, it is obviously seen from here, device manager. Here, this device manager. Through device manager, you can observe which port is using that Arduino board. And you generally need to select the COM port. Otherwise, your program won't be uploaded. So that's why this is an important thing. Okay, and if you ask me, how can you improve your coding skill, especially the Arduino coding skill, I obviously recommend you uh, a good site uh, that is uh, actually the arduinos so arduino.cc then references yes this one now uh, so first of all we can create a new project so new project new so new is case is created our first program uh, if you remember so we have in our void setup we have pin mode and i recommend you to write code in yourself don't copy code from any things uh, if you copy code then obviously your skill won't be improved so always uh, it is the best choice to write code yourself that's why uh, in the lab sheet i didn't write uh, or i didn't copy paste the code from the editor to here i give it as a screenshot so that you can copy and i obviously recommend you uh, don't copy anything from internet or any source always write code you may write exactly the same code but i recommend you write it don't copy so pin mod uh, this is 13 i want to use that output so this was the void setup and in void loop we have a digital uh, write digital write 13 initially we have make it high that is the powering one then we have a delay of thousand millisecond then we have another digital right having a low signal at 13 and then we have a delay of same sorry same thousand millisecond now i can compile it here verify so okay i need to save it so i'm going to save it here documents then our lab one and let's put it lab one code save so now uh, after saving automatically it asks to save now it is compiling as mentioned so now it will give me a hex file and i will mention the hex file in our OTS just like our previous video as i mentioned in initial video okay uh, meanwhile i may show you the web page so here the language reference so this digital write digital read anything you can learn from here for example i want to learn more about digital read so i just clicked on digital read many things here so you just read so it basically reads the value from a specified digital pin and the value is either high or low so if you read from this obviously you will find the original information and also the precise and correct and 
all information are here all function reference are here so obviously this is a good source also the example some example codes uh, any warning or anything that they want to describe all are here so this is a good source uh, good resource to learn arduino programming uh, there could be other good resource also i just uh, found it uh, and since it is the original uh, you know web page of the provider that is the arduino so this is a more solid information source so you may read from this so okay so it is done compiling so all i need to now copy this hex file location so this one control c then within proteas i need to double click this one here control v okay so now i need to perform this one that is the run the simulation so run the simulation okay so now it is running okay i didn't mention how can you choose to vary this r1 so just double click and there one k so i'm just writing is 220 r let's that means it will take 220 ohm yes now this is operational so yes so the led is blinking now okay yes it is high now for thousand millisecond and now it is low for thousand millisecond again high so led is blinking so i just uh, describe our initial uh, this one task one now the second task for this i need to integrate this potentiometer so i just stop the simulation and now i will add the potentiometer here so from component mode i already took the potentiometer port az just single click it and here put it here let's say okay so for potentiometer i need a voltage source and a ground also so i can found it from the terminal mode so this ground single click then here single click then this power this power this is basically a 5 volt dc source so i can choose this one power and power you can also choose power from this generator uh, this dc and you can mention it is as 5 volt anyway anything will work now i need to connect wires so single click here then single click here single mouse click here and here and i want to connect it to it a0 let's say and i need to integrate this sense in our code so here so now i want to use a sensor value function so integer sensor value let's say initially is at zero sorry zero and i am using a0 as the input so pin mode a0 as input and within the code i actually first uh, read the value so sensor value sensor value is equal to analog read a0 we are reading the value at a0 and then whatever it is read uh, it has read i want to write it in delay function so sensor value similarly here sensor value so code is completed i just saved it control s and now i am again verifying it that is it will compiling now okay an error occurred oh sorry uh, i just give it a mistake it is a small a so now verify so done compiling so i can choose this hex file and uh, it is uh, better to copy it again and paste it but uh, uh, okay this hex file didn't change actually so it is uh, not a problem 
so i may just you know just run it again because it is automatically the same hex file the hex file didn't change since i didn't change the program name and i didn't uh, choose a new scales or anything so the hex file location didn't change so that's why i didn't uh, give the hex file code here anyway so let's watch the operation okay think i need to zoom out okay so here if you click uh, so initially it is 50% i think okay i think it is not visible let me okay let me first stop the simulation Okay, now zoom in. Okay, so I think now it is quite visible that is 50% it is now. So I am running the simulation again. Now it is 50%. So let's put it to here that is almost 9%. So now you notice that it is blinking so fast. Why so fast? Because this potentiometer value, I have chosen it as a smaller value. Since the value is smaller, so the delay value is smaller. So delay value is smaller means the frequency increased. That means delay is smaller now. And if I choose at 100%, let's say, so it will, okay, notice, it will turn on for a longer period of time. Now turn off for a longer period of time. So so I'm controlling the frequency of the LED using this potentiometer. So if I choose here, so this is more of a normal operation. And if I choose here, so it will be a faster operation. So I think uh, demonstrated our second experiment. So if you have any question, feel free to ask me, feel free to reach me through email, through comments in Google Classroom or anything. So I'm stopping here. Thank you. Bye-bye.